sloth. Just thinking about it exhausts me. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, our next guest is so lazy, he won't even empty the trash on his laptop. Please welcome Ron Sparks. Thank you very much. You know, uh, when they asked me to come here tonight and talk to you all about laziness, the first thing that came to my mind was, gee, thanks for <laughs> thinking of me. But no, but no, it really is quite an honor to be asked to cover this topic of laziness because it's very important. Laziness is the most dangerous of the seven deadly sins because it's so insidious. It's everywhere in our society. We don't even notice it anymore, and it's getting worse, right? And if you don't believe me, just look around at the audience here tonight. Okay, everybody, really, just, uh, everybody, could you please just look at the person on your left? All right, now please look at the person on your right. Okay, all three of you are lazy. All right, as a matter of fact, I noticed that quite a few of you couldn't even be bothered to actually turn your head. Okay, well, don't worry because I'm not here to bash you, you know? I'm not, because it'd be pointless. It'd be a losing battle because laziness is here to stay, right? And we all know it's because there's so many good reasons to be lazy. You know, first and foremost, it's easy. <laughs> right, I'll be honest, I didn't bother to come up with anything after that. <laughs> but I didn't have to continue my list. They had me at easy. And it is easy, it's so easy, anybody can do it. It's so easy a kid can do it, right? And kids are doing it in record numbers. That's getting to be quite a problem, isn't it? I mean, I'm sure you've all noticed that uh, kids today, they're much less into sports, and they're much more shaped like pumpkins. <laughs> right? And we all know what the problem is, too, don't we? It's that kids today, they don't go outside and run around and play. Kids today, they stay at home and they play their video games. Okay? And I don't even really blame them for that. I blame the parents the most because they know what the problem is, but do they do anything to fix it? Do they make their kid go outside and get some exercise? No, what the parents today are doing is they're getting their kids video games about exercising. <laughs> yeah, how silly is that? Oh, what, they're making fun of my little Timmy just because he's round? Well, that tears it. First thing tomorrow, I'm gonna go pick up a Wii Fit because that video game comes with a paddle. I bet two weeks from now, they'll be calling him Captain Skinny. <laughs> no, that's stupid. You know, you can't just sit your kid in front of a TV, you know, because kids, they live in a fantasy world. If you tell them that they're exercising in front of the TV, they'll believe you. You know, they'll say, hey, mom, mom, come look at me, look at me. I'm an Olympic hurdler. Look at that, woo. Oh, man, silver medal. Oh, that, feel the burn. That was... Oh, that took a lot out of me. Mom, I'm, I'm gonna need another Hot Pocket. <laughs> oh. But oh, you can't let your kids believe this. That's just a lie. You gotta tell them the truth. Like, hey, Junior, just because you're watching a guy do hurdles on TV doesn't mean you're doing hurdles. You're not an Olympic hurdler. You're just a fat kid doing this with his arm. <laughs> Go cut the lawn or something. <laughs> but this is why laziness is so dangerous. Because we don't just accept it, do we? We openly embrace it. Look at it, through our whole history, we've been looking for new ways to be more lazy. Every significant advance has been with comfort and ease in mind. Like just look at any invention. Nobody ever invented anything to make life harder. They make easy boy chairs. <laughs> Nobody makes a difficult tea chair. The chair you've got to like pole vault through monkey bars to get into. <laughs> Maybe burn a few calories. No, everything's with comfort in mind. It's what our whole society's been working towards forever. Well, not our whole society. Really, we've just had our best people working on this. Well, the rest of us have sat on our couches <laughs> and waited for the news to tell us what they've come up with. <laughs> That's a lot of clapping for lazy people. <laughs> But no, they'll do a fourth, and we don't have to help them. We don't, there's no motivation at all for us to lend a hand, because they're gonna do it for us. You know, like, for example, say some guy. Say some guy goes to school, and he becomes a scientist. 
right? And then he spends his whole career developing a new vaccine, all right? This guy has just wasted his entire life developing a new vaccine, and what does he get to show for it? The same thing the rest of us get for doing nothing, a new vaccine. <laughs> so thank you, Professor Sucker. <laughs> we would have gotten you something, but we didn't. But we're all lazy, and again, please don't get mad. I'm not just bashing all of you for being lazy. You are lazy, but we all are. Actually, I'd put you guys on the lower end of the scale. You people in Winnipeg, if you were really, really lazy, you wouldn't live in Winnipeg, a city where you have to shovel snow out of your driveway from July until June. <laughs> Cut it out, you're lazy. <laughs> we're all lazy, Just, that's the point I wanna make is we're all lazy. And please don't think I'm letting us off the hook either. I am a comedian and I'll be the first to admit that there's a lot of lazy comics, you know? Like, for a fact, there are actually a lot of comedians now who are so lazy, they don't even bother coming up with the endings for their routines anymore. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>